Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. This week I'll be doing a quick overview of the Tentacle Sync E wireless time code generator. So this is a really neat system and before I get into a step-by-step -step demo, this is basically what the Sync E system does. This system can take multiple video and audio sources and independently generate a synced time code for all of those sources. You just hook up each of these sync units to your corresponding devices and then link them to the mobile app and then you go on with your shoot. Once you're done with your shoot, you drop all your media into Tentacle Sync Studio to consolidate it. Then you can export to your editing program, either Premiere or Final Cut via XML. And once there, all those tracks will be synced and have added timecode metadata that your editing software will be able to recognize. So a really practical use for this system would be on a shoot where maybe you had two cameras and a field mixer recording audio. And you obviously wanted to be able to really easily sync all the media that you got from that shoot in post. But neither of those cameras have a dedicated time code out. Or they did, but you didn't actually have the means to physically connect them on set. And that audio device doesn't actually just have to be an audio device. It could be another camera. Really just anything that can output a time code or audio signal via a dedicated time code port or a 3.5 millimeter jack. So now I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step process of the Tentacle E wireless time code generator system from hooking them up to your devices to exporting the XML to your editing program. So first you wanna make sure that all of the sync units you're using are charged and they charge via USB-C. Now the cool thing is these units are interchangeable. So any unit can go on any device on your shoot and then you assign them to their function when you power them on. Secure all the sync units to their corresponding devices and then connect them. For video sources, this could either be done via dedicated time code port or 3.5 millimeter mic jack. And for audio sources, exact same thing. If your device has a dedicated time code out, I would use that, but otherwise it can connect via mic jack. There are two possible modes you can put the sync unit in on startup, green mode and red mode. Red mode prepares the sync unit to be jam synced from an external time code from the device it's connected to and that determines the master time code for all other units. You power on in red mode by sliding the power switch over for less than three seconds. The more common mode I take it is green mode, and for this, you hold down the switch for more than three seconds. In green mode, the unit will generate its own time code, and that's the time code that all synced units will use. Once all of your units are powered on and in their appropriate modes, it's time to connect them to the app. And this is how this whole system works. Also, pardon my ancient phone and cracked screen. So, if you're connecting for the first time, you'll need to search for the devices. And the best way to connect is to bring your phone right up to the sync unit. So you may notice in the app one of the devices is called audio recorder and one is called camera. But if you're using two cameras like I did, these can be interchangeable. Once the devices are recognized, then you're ready to sync them. And before you do that, you have some settings for frame rate and the time code itself, of course. If synced correctly, it should look like this. And then you can even click on each device where you have some more settings. Now the units are synced and you are ready to record on all of your devices. But there is one thing you should know before we talk about offloading your media into Tentacle Sync Studio. If you are using the 3.5 millimeter mic connection, the sync unit will record a frequency to the left audio track. So if you're monitoring your audio or you listen to playback on the clip and you heard this, don't freak out, you're not doing anything wrong. That's how the sync unit is able to attach the timecode metadata to the clip if it doesn't have a dedicated timecode connection. The Sync Studio program takes care of this for you, but if you really needed to, you can manually reassign the audio channels in post to both play from the right channel. Furthermore, you can go into your devices in the app and select line volume level, and this will record that frequency a bit quieter. But they recommend setting this to auto so the unit just knows by itself. 
Okay, so with that bit out of the way, let's talk about consolidating this media into Tentacle Sync Studio. So here you can see I recorded this old radio with an A7S III and an A6600, both with a Tentacle Sync unit attached. So as long as the sync units remain powered on, the Tentacle Sync Studio program should be able to take all of that media and make its own mini timeline with video and audio tracks. If you did it right, these clips should be synced by the time code you determined at the beginning of the shoot. And I think this is noteworthy. The program didn't even recognize the file format from the A7S III, but it was able to sync it perfectly anyways, which was kind of unexpected. You have a couple of boxes for what is included in the export and even some more options for the output time code. In this case, I'm exporting as an XML to bring into Premiere. So I get some more settings, make sure I hit include synced clips because I'm working with video and now I give it an export. Now I pop over to my project in Premiere and I'm going to import that XML where it opens perfectly as its own sequence. Now, just out of curiosity, I hit each clip with a resize so I could see them side by side, and I scrubbed to a place where I could see if they were perfectly synced. And voila, they were. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this quick demo of the Tentacle E wireless timecode generator system. So if you have any questions about the Sync E system or you think I missed something in this video, drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion. Also, if you happen to like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, hit that bell to be notified whenever we post new content, which is every week. So take care, and we'll see you in the next one.